music, marketing, mentoring. I hope you are thirsty. This is the Musician's Cooler, where musicians come to trade advice. Welcome to the show. I am your smiling host, Jammin' Dave Jackson, author of the book, Get Your Band Out of the Basement and Keep Them Out of the Asylum. That is available right over here at musicianlibrary.com. Not musicians, musicianlibrary.com. And today I'm going to show you how you can use a free program to find band members. If you're looking for, for band members, what I'm going to do here is I am at, let's switch over to here, back page. And today's topic is kind of U.S. specific, but I think the theory will even work in Europe and other places. So bear with me if you're going, oh, crikey. He's talking about Cleveland, Ohio. Right, so I'm going to scroll down here to Backpage.com. I'm going to click on my city, which is Cleveland, Ohio. And what's cool about this, I'm going to go to Musicians Wanted and Available. And in the very bottom of the screen here, let me scroll down. Hold on to your hat. Bottom right-hand corner, there is an RSS button. And I could subscribe to this. And you can. I have like four pages of results here. And I could subscribe to that and have that information come right to a piece of software. I could have it come to Yahoo, or Google has an RSS reader, or blog lines, things like that. But I don't want all these things because half these people don't apply to me. Let's say I'm looking for a drummer. I could type over here in the keyword box, I could type in drummer. If I'm looking for a bass player, I could type in bass player, et cetera, et cetera. Let's say I'm looking, in my case, I'm looking for blues people. I could type in blues. I'm going to click on search and the really, really cool thing about this is the RSS button now represents not all the RSS, all the results that we saw before. It's showing the RSS button for my search. So what does that mean? Well, I'm going to right click on this and choose copy link location. So basically that's me saying that's the um, frequency of a radio station, right? It's, it's copying that frequency. It's remembering that in my computer's memory. And I'm going to switch to a free program I'm using called Great News RSS Reader. And what you can do here, a couple things first. We're going to get it set up. This is the way it looks right out of the box. And I'm going to go to Feed, the Feed menu. I'm going to Add. And I'm going to come down and say Label. And let's say I type in uh, Bass Player. I can come back again and say Feed add another label i'm going to type in drummer and we'll just stop at that i mean we could go on on singer whatever whatever the other thing you want to do is go to feed and i'm going to add feed group i'm going to call it music search and basically what that is a search group is a folder so i've done that meanwhile i've still got this frequency of the radio we said that's i'm calling it an rss feed now realize that frequency doesn't make any sense until you put it into a radio and all of a sudden music comes out of it. So we're going to take our frequency, our RSS feed. I'm going to say, I want to add a feed. It knows exactly what's on the clipboard, which is kind of cool. So if you do this right after you copy that, you just go add, you go to feed, add feed. And when I click on next, it says, Hey, this is uh, from backpage.com keyword blues from Cleveland, Ohio. And I say, yep. And I click next. And much in the same way, when you put a frequency into a radio, music comes out. When I put an RSS feed into an RSS reader, information comes out. Very cool. So now I'm going to switch over from back page to Craigslist. And I've done the same thing. I've gone to now just to back up a bit. Um, you would pick your city under community. You have uh, musicians. So I can click there. And again, in my case, I'm typing in blues, uh, same exact place, bottom right hand corner. Oh, you know what? I almost made a key mistake here. You have to click on search. I typed in my keyword. If I don't click on search, it's not going to filter it. So let me, uh, move this down to the bottom right hand corner. We'll find our RSS feed. I'll right click on it, copy the link location. I'm going to switch back to my RSS reader. And now I don't have to add all the titles and tags. You just have to do that once. Now I can just come up and go feed, add feed. And it remembers again, what's in my clipboard. Well, the last thing in the clipboard was the RSS feed from Craigslist. 
When I click on next, it says, hey, this is what I think I found. Craigslist, Cleveland, musician, search blues. I'm like, yep, that's it. When I click on next, I'm going to put that back in my music search group. When I click on finish, here again comes the music. Now, the cool thing is I can click here on music search. Well, here, um, before we do that, here's a bass player. Uh, I can click on this and say label this. Let's say this is somebody I want to call la later. I say do that. Um, here's somebody listing their gigs. Here's a guitar. So what else was I looking for? Drummers. Um, guitar player, sound tech. Um, you get the idea. So let's uh, let's go up. That's on Craigslist. If I go over here, let me scroll this over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm looking at Craigslist. Now I'm going to look at back page. And here's another bass player. I could label this. Say there's a bass player. Right here's a drummer. I could label that. Say I'm looking at that. And the great thing about this is now, um, first of all, the things I've already looked at, like because I looked at Craigslist, if I go back to this, it's going to say, you've looked at them all. So there's a setting where you can say, always show me things even if I've already read it. So as you're reading it, if it's something you want to look at later, you, you need to label that. Otherwise, you have to go back into the settings and say, show me everything. Um, in fact, if I say click here to display all, yeah, it's showing me things that I've read. Now, how do I know I've read this? It doesn't have the little gold star. Um, so likewise, back page now if I go back. So if you do that, that's why. It's it, There's a setting where you can say, always oh, show me old stuff. But it's kind of nice if you've already read it. But the cool thing is, now if I just want to see my bass players, I can click on my label, and there are my bass players. Pretty cool, huh? Very easy way to realize instead of going to Craigslist every day and looking, instead of going to Backpage every day or whatever site you're using over there in the UK, if it's got an RSS feed, see if you can do a keyword search and then, then copy the RSS feed and only the things that match your search criteria will show up in your RSS feed. Now this tool that I'm using, this great news RSS reader is free. Again, you can use blog lines, you can use Yahoo. I like this because of the labeling feature, and I can save things for later. Later, you can find this at curio c u r i o studio dot com. So that is going to do it for this edition of the Musicians Cooler. It's where musicians come to trade advice. Our website is musicianscooler dot com. You can subscribe to our podcast in iTunes. You can subscribe to our free email. So that's another way that you can get our RSS feed. Or if you scroll down on our website. There is a subscribe to the blog. So just for giggles, I could right click on that, choose copy link location, go back to my news reader, add it, and I could add that. So you could get my blog feed. You can also get the podcast here as well. This uh, feeder does that. So here I'll do that. It remembers my address. It's the Musicians Cooler blog. And I click on next, and we'll throw that in the music search just for giggles. And there it is. So there's the blog. These are things that I am not talking about on the podcast. So you can subscribe to that as well. So let me remind you that for those who have money, there is uh, therapy. But for the rest of us, hallelujah, there is music. Thank you very much for listening. And until next week, stay cool, everybody. <laughs>